Swing it out, Radford. He's got it. Nothing but net for Tyrese Radford. Once again, both teams are very patient in getting these shots up, and not all of them are high percentage shots. This one might be, though, if Radford steps inside and drains it. Went to Delaware where he averaged 12 points per game and 8.4 rebounds per game. Bounce inside to Mutz. There's some points for the new Hokey. Been able to hang in this game, and with 440, lots of things can happen for this talented team that nobody really knew much about. Aluma, though, that's his third dunk of the game. Learning today, Mac, he's been tough. Yeah, defensive mistake right there, and he makes them. Okay, this is a team that might finish in the top seven, top eight, ended up 12. The difference Mike Young told us between this year's team and last year's team was this two year's team. It's USF as we take a look at missed opportunity here, but again, on the offensive glass and an unselfish play, kick out for another three. Jake Stevens on the drive, bodying up Keve Aluma. Stevens fading away, left it short. All the way up ahead to Radford, count it, plus the foul, Tyrese Radford. Set up by Beatty right here, heads up, one of the best assist guys in the ACC. Up the bleeding. Shot clock expiring and a shot, a three-pointer on target, he got it off. With about a minute to go in the opening half here in Blacksburg. Tough bank shot that's going to drop in. Well, and it's been all it's been all with their defense. You know, they are their offense is a a hole is greater than the sum of the individual parts. But defensively, they really get after you. That lived and died from that three point arc. Okies want to push the tempo quickly, getting to the other end and in one as well. Radford went in strong and drew the foul. Shot clock a factor now, right down the lane, oh. and a stop by Radford. And a Ooh. foul on the play, a sensational drive. One thing you know in this game, everything is challenged. Don't come in here with that soft stuff in this game against either team, what a challenge. But more than that, how about the take by Tyrese Radford? Radford. Shot clock to six. He drives it. Got it! Boy, he's made big shots all night, hasn't he? Comes over, he bodies up, plays this without fouling, and how about Radford? He takes the contact. He is a bull, man. You cannot play this game in a tuxedo, and Nahim Aline. And they get it across midcourt, leading by two. Radford on the drive, another big basket by Tyrese Radford. Shot, and then Mike Young deciding not to call a timeout here, decides to let his guys figure it out, and the guy who's figured it out all night long. That's tapped around, falls to Radford. Tyrese Radford rocks the rim. Well, again, this is just poor passing, and... Tyrese Radford is such a great athlete. When he's going to get the ball like that, you got no chance to catch him. Here's Justin Hill, a little too hot on the drive, lost the handle. Great take into attack mode. Off the window it is. And then finding the open man. Excellent passing. Radford answers, takes it right into the teeth of Longwood's big man. That's where Miami is best in transition. They get a lot of points. Play stronger than he is once he puts his mind to it. He's terrific in transition. He brings motor, he brings heart, and he's all about winning. Radford rips down the rebound, goes coast to coast. Tyrese Radford showing off. He's a low turnover team for the most part. That was a miss that time by the Hurricanes. And this is the big advantage that Mike Young has. He has multiple players. And basically his games, his practices, excuse me, were de facto games. Great move from Tyrese Radford there. Pick and pop. Radford missed it. 
Nearly an offensive rebound, and it is tracked down by Tyrese Radford in attack mode for two. From Marlboro, Maryland, one of Mike Bray's I-95 guys. And there are a handful of them on this Notre Dame roster as well. Soft drive in the bucket, and that's Tyrese Radford's first points. Duke Blue Devils. They're in the ACC right now overall in scoring. Big battle on the baseline. The kick out here for Aline. He'll stick it. I'm talking a lot, but the dog walks out of the room. My dog Blue leaves the room these days when I start talking. I'm just delighted to be talking to other human beings. Coach K going deep into his bench in this game, trying to find some type of spark. They've made what was a huge lead a little smaller, but oh, how about continue. this one? It's going to grow. Tyrese Rafford putting together a spectacular first half for a great ball movement. Hunter Couture finding Rafford wide open. Duke just getting lost Oof. on the defensive end of the floor. An acrobatic move by Rafford. And the ACC did have some struggles early in the non-conference. But we see teams starting to settle in. And it's going to be a number of good ACC teams when we get to the NCAA tournament in March. Aluma tries to go over the screen, which you can never do against a true shooter that Matthew Hurt is. Bradford thought about it. Got the pass free, and it'll drop down for Aluma. But more importantly, as you mentioned, to keep it inbounds and get it to a teammate to regain possession for the Hokies. That's an about feed and the stop. Saving the possession, which allows. Bradford beating Antonio. You look at the elements they have. Aluma inside. And it's strong with up two feet. And then this is just too easy for Rat bring the best double. They they put their best defender on inside on the interior. Strong to the basket, Tyrese Bradford. They're doing a great job of pushing and attacking. He sees right there, Neath is backing up the whole time. He's in the restricted area. Bradford drops it off for Gasson, who's got eight points. That side rim and into the corner, Radford. Crossover right in front of Dolajan, reversing direction up and under Tyrese Radford. But it's Radford getting by Dolajai and Garrier to lay it up and in. Tyrese Radford on the play. Try to swing the momentum back the other way. Here's Radford through the spin cycle and it drops Tyrese Radford. And he has feasted on Wake Forest. With COVID protocols and so forth, that's going to be part of the discussion. But, you know, certainly there's going to be some teams that are going to need to win some games in the ACC tournament to bolster their resume. Plus the foul. Well, that's just, you know, typically you see. Good challenge there by the Hokies. Love slow to get up. And a lay-in at the other end for Radford. You know, Kessler missed that second free throw, but Hunter Couture boxed him out on the first one and got right into his body. You wonder if he was thinking about that a little bit. And another easy basket. Radford around Harris. Radford strong oh. to the rim. And he's their best overall player, second team all-conference during the season. Turnover by Davis, and Radford's out ahead of the pass. I don't know where R.J. Davis was going, but that sort of move and contact. And then off the turnover, he's just a, ahead of the crowd here. It not count on the playground, but it does in the ACC tournament. Empty jamming at home with a...